Hello YouTube, this is XXXMan360 here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make your own Angry Bird for Angry Birds. So, um, this is going to help you add one bird, or if you know how to do hex editing, as many birds as you want. Uh, but I think one bird will be fine. So I tried to make this as simple as possible. And uh, so here is what I've come up with. So to start, you're going to want to download unluak.jar and decode.bat. And then download the JDK or Java Development Kit in order to use unluak.jar. Um, uh, we're going to take blocks.lua and drag it over decode.bat. Then take a load list.lua and also drag that over decode.bat. So now we've got two text documents. We're going to rename the original LUAs to a backup in case we need to use them in the future if you need to. And then we got these text documents, so we can rename those to LUA. So, uh, what we need to do first is we need to go to blocks. So here we have a um, very large LUA file. Um, so, there's other things you can modify, but to, in this tutorial we will be modifying the birds, or adding a bird, you could say. So I have to scroll for quite a bit, but we will get there. Also, um, so when you see the birds category in the groups, change last index to 10. Okay, so now we got damage factors. So this is where you're, you get to customize how much damage your bird can do. So I'm going to um, base this on Big Red or Terrence, as you guys may know him. So I'm going to copy his, and I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to give this a name like um, Example Bird. And so we can set the damage multiplier to however much we want. So let's make that 5, 5, and 5. So quite powerful velocity multiplier. That just show, uh, is how far the blocks get sent. Or it, since the damage is so high with velocity, it wouldn't really matter. Of course, you can always make it the other way around where the velocity is high but the damage is low. Okay, so... Now let's, uh, here we got the actual birds themselves, where we, um, can customize their uses and everything. So, uh, let's look for Big Red. I mean, you can use any of these you want to base it on, but we're gonna use Big Red. Copy his data. Make a new line. And then paste that. We're gonna rename this to... Our example bird. Um, I should also go back up to the uh, damage factor and rename that to right, or example bird damage factor just to keep it separate and so it doesn't accidentally redefine itself in a different way. Okay, so here's where we get to the actual imaging. We go to data. And uh, so you're also going to want to download ExtraBird IMG and ExtraBird.dat. This PNG is the template you can use for your extra bird. So I've laid it out normal, flying, hurt, um, the emote when like they have their mouth open and then the blinking sprite. So all you would do is you would just um, you'd draw over it. I'm not going to really draw, I'm just going to use the default textures because why not. So take the extra bird dot dot and extra bird dot img, put it in P uh, your PC build folder, or whatever the image folder is. So then we got that in here. Fill out 
the um, template with the following sprite BD extra sprite flying BD extra flying sprite collision BD extra collision uh, and then set the sprite score to whatever you want there are other options to choose from uh, like uh, you got black, boom, blue, boomerang, red, white, yellow. Let's go with just uh, white. And uh, BD extra yell. And then BD extra blink. And you can, if you have uh, sounds you want to use, you can also change those too. Uh, change the group index to um, 10 because that is the last bird we have added so and just do it anyways and if you don't really get what I'm saying and so we're gonna customize the strength it's gonna make him uh, super powerful out of this world actually uh, density let's change uh, uh, that to uh, 60 And tutorial info, you can change that if you want. If you know how to add extra images, you can do that. And so, uh, one more thing we should do is probably should change the radius because Terence has a bigger hitbox than uh, the example template. So now we can save that. Close out of blocks.lua. And now we move on to loadlist.lua. This is where we're going to actually import the information, the image. So, uh, under in-game birds underscore two dot dat, type in extra bird dot dat, and then put that comma. Then go back to the game and if you have the Angry Birds level editor which I have a tutorial on how to enable it in another video you can go to it and you can test out your bird that way okay so let's modify this example level so we're going to, okay, so here's our example bird here. Let's place him down. And we'll, we'll give him start position one. So this guy's gonna have to go, sorry Hal. And now we're gonna save that. Okay, so now we can use our example bird. As you can see he changed his color. And he's super powerful just like we said him. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you out in making your own bird for Angry Birds, and to help you make a mod for me to hopefully someday try out. And uh, so now this last part of the video is going to be for people who are on 1.6.3 or 2.0.0, and that's because I'm 1.6.3 or 2.0.0 or anything after that in, or in between that, you have to decrypt the files first and then encrypt them later in order to actually use them. So, if that's you, please watch closely. Alright, all of you modern Angry Birds modders, you guys have to do a little bit of an extra step. Uh, you have to download file decrypt level encrypt and then open ssl.exe, which will all be in the description. Of course. So, um, what you gotta do is you gotta take blocks.loa, drag it over, file decrypt, then delete this LOA, 
rename this part back to LUA, and then you drag it over decode.bat, then you get the text document, and then once you're done with it, then you take it and drag it back over level encrypt.bat and do the same thing with load list .LUA when you need to. And that's all you gotta do. That's the only really big difference. And I hope this helped. See you later.